here's a, a picture of the brain and the blood supply. What a stroke is, is a lack of blood flow to the brain tissue itself. The, one of the blood vessels closes off and therefore blood does not reach the tissue in the brain and causes those nerve cells to die. Depending on the location and the size of that area, that will determine the type of stroke that you suffer. So symptoms of a stroke are an acute change in your ability to function. Most commonly, it would be weakness on one side of the body, inability to communicate, speak correctly, or sometimes people have numbness as well. People that are at risk for having a stroke include those with untreated hypertension. Um, also, if you have a heart condition, sometimes that can predispose you to have um, a stroke. Other possibilities include people that are not well controlled with their diabetes or have elevated cholesterol. It is critical to treat a stroke acutely because there's a lack of blood flow. And so what we need to do is to open up the blood vessel to restore the blood flow so that the nerve cells can continue to work. There, there's a medication called TPA or tissue plasminogen activator, which is a clot busting medication. And that medication has to be given within the first few hours after a stroke in order to open up the blood vessels and restore the blood flow to the nerve cells. B fast um, is a great way to remember the acute signs of stroke. And B means balance. So if all of a sudden you're unsteady on your feet, that would be a sign that you may be suffering a stroke. E means eye, and that could um, delineate either the fact that you can't see or that your vision is distorted or double. Um, F means face, and you ask the person to smile, and they should have both sides of the mouth come up symmetrically. If one side doesn't come up and it's weak, that would tell us that there's an issue going on. Um, a stands for arms, and you ask the person to extend their arms out. Either their arm may drift down, or they might not even be able to lift their arm up at all. So that would be something concerning in a sign of a stroke. Um, S means speech, whether the patient's um, uh, speech is slurred or they're finding the wrong word. That would be important to note. And then finally, T means time, which tells us that if, if you're having any of these symptoms, you need to call 911 and get treatment immediately. And um, we really want to get the word out that it's important that as soon as you notice the signs of a stroke that you call 911 and you come in immediately because we have life-saving treatments that can reverse the stroke. You don't want to put your loved one or friend or um, acquaintance in the situation of driving you and then you deteriorate and they can't help you. So um, it's important to call 911. The other thing that's also very helpful is that when you arrive by ambulance, you're first in line because it shows that there's some an acute emergency going on. We do have these great treatments for if you do have a stroke, but it would be better if we never got into that, that situation in the first place. So making sure that your blood pressure is under control, you know, being in touch with your primary doctor to um, make sure that it's, it's under control. And we're talking about less than 140, the top number, the systolic number. Um, the other thing that is important is to make sure that your blood sugars are under control, to know if you do have problems with controlling your blood sugar to get them under control or to know that, um, that you're, you don't have an issue with that. The other thing that's important is to make sure that your blood cholesterol level is at a, at a good target. Um, and if it's not, there are certainly medications that can be used very easily to get you under control. The other thing is to make sure that the heart is healthy. And sometimes people have irregular heart rhythms that can increase your risk of stroke. Um, so doing things like you know, exercising and having the appropriate diet are also things that are important for prevention.